All right, y'all, I'm back at it again with part two of the Shagget tutorial. Y'all get into it. We're gonna do some finishing today. And I also put in some side slits. So I'm gonna put zippers into those slits and finish that. I did contrast and colors, black on one side, red on the other side. So we're gonna get into that thing and install these zippers. Y'all ready? Let's go. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my We also gonna overlock these edges and clean all of that up in the interior. One thing I'm gonna need is my zipper foot. On this machine, the concealed zipper foot is an I. And this is the Brother CE 1100 Project Runway. Drop that presser foot that's in there. It is by nature a J. We're going to put on the eye. Side with this girl. Okay. We got it pinned to the wrong side so that it could give us a clean seam on the outside. And this is an invisible zipper. It's super duper long, but I'm gonna handle all that. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna change the stitch length so it's a little longer to 3.0. Regular tension, have it set to 01. Moved to pretty much the very edge. And got my seam guide to one quarter inch. The pin out. Put pins through the machine. It's just not my style. Gonna hold that zipper tight and go through slow. I learned that from Project Runway. Tip: If you don't want wavy zippers, hold it taut and go through slow.
shit. Pretty good on one side. We gotta do notch cut. So that can lay flat. Might as well cut it on both sides. installed now we're gonna go in and clean it up a little bit and hear it right there for now then we ready for itch baby pesky little threads off
little hole. We're gonna fix it though. Fix all that. We need another presser foot. We can go ahead and cut that right off. We're gonna switch back to the J foot. Curl that down and run it through. Right at that hem. Angle it back a little bit. This bad boy. Angle back a bit. Let it fly. Lock some stitches in. I'm going a couple forward and a few back. it. All right, y'all, we're going to put this other zipper on. We need to wear this.
zipping. Run it through slow. All right, y'all, we finishing up this jacket. We rolling these hands and overlocking the edges in the inside of the garment so that it looks finished. What I'm basically doing is running the, tucking the hem and running the needle along that edge. I could use a presser foot, but I think just doing it this way works for me right now. Pick that up. to do that is use a pencil too. Or a pen. Tuck that end. It would help to have more seam allowance to tuck, but the way I cut it, it didn't work out that way, but it's fine. We can't touch, we'll just sew them. We will not spend a lot of time on that. This is the inside. Even though I want it to be clean, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. It's a lot of wasted energy. And we can use that for creating something else, you know?
Roll down. It's needing some areas that ain't needing other areas. It'll be okay. But more finished. Trim all these pesky threads. Installed with zip eyes. Stalin's next.